How you doing, Leo? So this is another reading for you guys. So everything may not apply to you. So just take what resonates with you and leave out what does not. And don't forget to like the video and I appreciate it. So Leo, we have new beginnings for your um overall energy. For so I feel like Leo, y'all been through a really tough cycle in y'all life. I feel like y'all have been through a lot when it comes to not only your stability, but I feel like y'all been through a lot emotionally. Um, I just feel like y'all may have been, I'm here, I'm getting this energy where some of y'all could have actually been, you know, crying. I'm here in the dark. I'm here in the dark night of the soul. Maybe you have been through the dark night of the soul multiple times, but I feel like you have been doing a healing work, you know, to overcome whatever loss that you may have experienced or whatever pain that, you know, that you had. I feel like you overcame that and now things are start to be, you know, on the up and up now that you allow yourself to heal from the pain, the cycles, the, you know, that you have just been going through, you know, but I feel like things are starting to get a lot more better. I do see these butterflies right here, you know, and I just feel like this new beginning is, you know, happening for you because you've healed. You went through your, I'm hearing karmic cycles, karmic lessons with somebody. Now, some of y'all could have been dealing with a Sagittarius or a water sign. I'm seeing fire and water in this spread. But I feel like Leo, since we got confidence and then we have sent by the devil, I'm seeing that you guys walked away with confidence from this person. I feel like this person you were dealing with with had a lot of pride, a lot of ego, you know, very arrogant. Um, this person may have kept some things from you. I'm also hearing that some of you guys, this person may have tried to not only neglect you, but I feel like they try to keep you a secret on top of them having secrets also. But I just feel like you walked away with, you know, integrity, you know, because you just found out exactly who you was dealing with, but I am seeing that you was dealing with a fallen angels because we got sent by the devil clarifying confidence. Cause see that angel right there, you know, but then we got sent by the devil. So yeah, you was dealing with somebody you thought was your soulmate. Some of y'all could have been dealing with a narcissist, but I just felt like you was dealing with someone who you thought was your soulmate and it wasn't. It definitely wasn't. Some of y'all, if y'all didn't walk away from this person, this person may have walked away from you. But if they did walk away, Leo, I'm hearing that that was the best thing happening. Like, literally, that was just the best thing because this person was a demon, I'm hearing. Some of y'all, this person had addictions, drug addiction, alcohol, gambling addiction, sex addiction. Um, and it's like, as soon as you walked away or they walked away, you found yourself, you healed. Because like I said, that new beginning card as an overall energy it's like you heal from this person you bounce back emotionally some of y'all actually bouncing back when it comes to y'all not only your um physical appearance because i feel like you got your glow back you got your shine back but when it comes to your stability situation you know i feel like now leo y'all is just focusing more on the self loving yourself a lot more you know i feel like you guys are very sure of yourself and what you are and are not going to put up with when it comes to a relationship and I just felt like during this time a separation with somebody that may have left you or you left them I feel like you allowed that you you allowed yourself to heal and to rebuild yourself back up yeah it may have been slow but I just felt like you did you know you did the right thing by falling away from this person out of this person's life and you know, getting yourself back together. Because I feel like this person left you into pieces, but when they left, you allowed yourself to heal and you picked up all the pieces that was broken within you and rebuilt yourself back up. Some of y'all couldn't even change y'all wardrobe, you know, y'all appearance. 
Y'all could even look different, dress different ever since this person left you. I'm also getting housekeeper. Some of y'all could be getting a new job as a housekeeper or you could be a housekeeper. But I am getting the energy we go where you was dealing with somebody that seen you as a keeper. They seen you as a housewife. Some of y'all could have been married to this person. It don't have to be. But I just felt like this person knew that you was the keeper. And like I said from the beginning, they may have been trying to keep you hidden from other people. Or, try, or just like... They they may have also left you as an option or you felt like you was an option, but I am seeing that your person knew you was the one, you know, so what they did was keep you in the backs, like why they go deal with whoever they wanted to go deal with and try to use you as an option. I'm also getting a slave energy. Some of y'all did so much for this person to the point this person going, this person thought that you guys were going to be forever catering to their wants and their needs, but no, you left. You know, yeah, you may have cared about this person, you know, because you do got compassion right here. But this person never had good intentions towards you, Leo. They never did because we got one to see you fail. This person, it don't even have to be one person. It could be multiple people, you know, because I am getting this energy where some of y'all could have been dealing with multiple people in your life that was sent by the devil. You know, some of y'all could be having devilish ass people come towards you just being mean and rude for no reason, you know. And I feel like I'm getting so many energies and I feel like it's because you glowed up, you bounced back, you know, you a completely different person. You know, people know you, they see you as a keeper, you know, they see you as this um divine feminine or divine masculine now, you know, because I just feel like for some of y'all it ain't even a significant lover. It's people that was you know, fallen angels, they see of a great person you was. They see a, what of a great catch you, you know, you are. And they could be hating on that. And it's crazy because these are people that you really care about. But I feel like no matter what people put you through or no matter what that ex put you through, I feel like you didn't give up on yourself. You didn't. You remained strong. You remained grounded. You know, yeah, you may have been hurt because we see how dark her face is on this side and light on the other side. Yeah, you may have been hurt, but you always kept that happy glow that, you know, you always kept that, what is it called? When you know you hurt inside, but you have no choice but to put up a front like you, you know, you happy. I feel like you remain really strong no matter what it is that you've been through, you know, because it looks like this person crying on this side. But, yeah, you remain strong. You remain grounded, you know, and, um... And no matter what people threw at you, you know, yeah, because they wanted to see you fall. They see you as this great person, Leo, whether this was a lover or just people that you may have been dealing with, whether it was work, whether it was a mother, a father, a sibling, you know, or um, if you could be in, you, some of y'all could be in college. Maybe it's people fucking with you in, while you in college and school. and It could be anybody. These people were sent by the devil because they see you a great person that you was. You see what I'm saying? Now... Like I said, because we got tall right here, no matter what, you still stay, you still stand up. You always stand up for yourself, no matter what it was or who it was that stood up to you or did some shady stuff to you. You know, I feel like you remain grounded and you remain strong through whatever it is that you have been through. Now, some of y'all, this is going to, this, it's been a long time since you had a lover in your life. And I'm seeing that. I'm hearing the wait is over, Leo. So y'all definitely is going to get a new love, Leo. Because we got tall. This person could be tall. But I feel like y'all going to be finding somebody or want, running into somebody that's going to be very loyal. You know, very, you know, accountable for whatever it is. Responsible. And I just feel like this person is going to want to bring in some form of balance in your life, Leo. You know, some of y'all could be a Scorpio. Some of y'all could have Scorpio in your chart don't have to be or just could be a water sign because like I said I was seeing a lot of water and um fire in this spread but whoever this new love is this Scorpio this, you're gonna make this person a little bit nervous because we got anxiety and nervous they're gonna be a little bit afraid of approaching you some of y'all could be talking to this person now and um maybe they could be making you feel nervous one or the other y'all take what resonate but somebody is nervous talking to this new person I'm hearing shy. Somebody could be a little bit shy. It could be you, Leo. But, um, yeah, I'm seeing that you have been through some stuff, Leo. But you got through it. You worked through it. You still kept that, you know, you still remain balanced through whatever it is that you've been through. You fought those demons, not only internally, but the outside of you. And 
you remaining strong and loyal to yourself, loyal to your wants, your needs, and, and just stay, staying true to you, you know. But I'm going to go ahead and end it here, Leo. If it resonates, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I appreciate you guys. Y'all stay blessed.